OK, can you tell us your name, please, sir? I'm Jack Fortas. OK, and where are you from, Mr. Fortas? I'm in an area near, near Orlando, a little town called Deland. And uh, I love big band music, and it came 9,000 miles to, to hear it over here. That is fantastic. So you've come all the way just for tonight's function? Yes, yes I did. A very cold night in a hangar in England. Yes, I left 93 degree heat in Florida as of about last Wednesday or so. So I left Thursday night and flew over all night and then went toured London yesterday and had a chance to look around in this area today. Now tell us why you are so interested in big band music. Well, I'm 86 years old and in 1940 I was 16 years old in high school, and the big bands, Glenn Miller and so many of the big bands, were at their zenith then. So in our high school, we'd, we'd dance to Glenn Miller. We, we didn't have enough money to buy a record, but we'd go to the record store and listen to one. And we'd listen to the broadcasts from places like New York and New Jersey where the big bands broadcast. So it, it's just been a lifelong interest of mine. I go out and and uh, play CD big band music to the nursing homes, to the old people who, who remember the music as I do. And do you feel that this is a dying, an, a dying breed, sort of like the sound is not going to be heard anymore? Do you think it'll continue? It is continuing. There are so many big bands that are still able to play some, and these, a band like this band tonight, my only uh, wish was that there was more of a mixture of slower music, what we call the ballads and the sweet songs, along with the swing. Uh, so I, I hope they'll play Moonlight Serenade and some of the beautiful slower tunes that, that I love. We hope so too. Now tell us, tonight is a special night. It's VE Day. It's the commemoration of VE Day. Yes. How did the war affect you and your family in America? Well, I was, I'm, I'm a veteran of World War II. I was in the Navy during World War II. So uh, I joined the Navy right out of high school in 1942 and uh, served overseas. I was in the Pacific, uh, came home and went to college, met my wife, and we have two children and two grandchildren. My wife died two years ago. And so the big band music is, <laughs> is, is soothing and sort of helps me. Yeah, thank you. One more question. Sure. How do you feel that World War II has shaped our future for our children today? They don't know much about it. It's just not taught in the schools. The history uh, needs to be reminded. They need to know a little bit about uh, <laughs> excuse me, the men who served. And uh, I, I wish there was more history. But nonetheless, uh, the, the veterans of World War II are dying off rather fast. I'm in good health for 86 years, <laughs> and so, so, so I enjoy moving and getting around. I go to the YMCA and, and work out, and whenever there's a dance, I try to find some place to dance. Now, we hear that you're going back really early in the morning tomorrow. Yes, that's true. I have to catch a plane at 11.15, I think it is, from Gatwick, and it flies direct to Orlando. How did you find out about this dance tonight? On the computer. I look at a lot of big band sites and websites. And so as soon as I saw a big band hangar dance, we have a big band hangar dance in our little town once a year on Veterans Day. And I'm in charge of the music to get the band to play, play the tunes that we, we remember from World War II. Thank you so much for giving us five minutes of your time. Thank you. And we wish you a safe journey home. Thank you. I've enjoyed it so much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank